presents Good For You TV. I just want to say I support that. Thank you. Keep hustling. Keep Thank working. You. Keep doing what you're doing. I support that in any way, shape, or form. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm the Naked Cowboy. It could be you, TV. I'm the Naked Cowboy. Look at my boobies. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. Or hers. <laughs>
you Thank know, you. all you did was complain about the pictures and the videos weren't the best. But what's what you well, said? I mean, no. It was a it was a last minute put together, but um, I had so much more videos and and things to talk about because like so this place called Coco Bongo there. Um, I was told to like go. I was told everybody's like go to Coco Bongo. Have it crazy legs. Have you ever heard of Coco Bongo? No, I've never been. Uh, where were you again? Well, I was in Punta Cana, and they have a Coco Bongo there, but they have one in Can Cancun and Jersey. Do you hear the way no. she says that? Does she sound white? Punta Cana. Punta Cana. She Punta Cana. Italian. That's Italian. Like and I am no, white. And I I've am white. <laughs> I've, I've never been. I don't know. Get you me. white girl. <laughs> I, I, I'm not. I'm not a snob or anything like that. But I, I, for me, it's like every. I don't know. Everyone goes to Punta Cana and everyone goes it's cheap. To, like, uh, <laughs> to, to the Keys and all that stuff. I'd rather be in Greece. Well, yeah, but I can't afford to go to Greece. You taking me, Crazy Legs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't think so. So let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> so if you've never been to Coco Bongo, basically, okay. um, so everybody said you got to go and it's like a club. And I'm like, all right, well, what's a club? I've been to a million clubs. But when you walk into this place, it's like an arena with a, a lot of people standing around in the arena part, and then on the bottom, I guess is like the VIP only, they have a stage in the middle and a stage up top. So basically the whole time, all they do is like, they do acrobatics, they do shows, like they had like a different segment the whole entire night. So like they had like The Mask, they had Pirates of the Caribbean, they had Spider-Man, they had, you know, um, Queen with Freddie Mercury. They just had so much material and the costumes and the dancing, the acrobat, the aerial stuff was just ridiculous. So if you don't know, much about Coco Bongo. Oh um, my God, that alone makes me want to go like right now. It is, it was phenomenal. Like it blew my mind. I was just like in awe of looking up at the ceiling the whole time because that's what they're doing like above your head. Well, listen, I guess that's why you go away <laughs> to have fun, enjoy yourself. Yeah, different it experiences. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely, you did that. And I went on a catamaran. I, I was really afraid to get in the of, water. Um, so I did like that. That sounds something I do with the dudes. What happened? I'd probably do that with the fellas. Why? Because she did it with the girls, why can't I do it with the fellas? You can go with the guys. You could do a guys trip and go. <laughs> why can't we all do a, 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 a co-ed? Yeah. Isn't that more fun? It's a lot of fun if you go with a well, group of people. Yeah, we, we could co-ed it over here for Puerto Rock study in June. How about that? <laughs> yeah, how about that? You know, why don't you, since you're already um, speaking about why don't you plug that a little bit? Let us know, um, everyone who's watching sure. Facebook, um, what, who you what's are. Tell them who you are, too. We want to know. Some people don't know who you are. That's that's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Crazy Lace from the Rock Steady Crew. Been uh, uh, in the whole hip hop game since the, the mid '70s, and I was fortunate to be able to uh, bring hip hop with some other people to the downtown scene back in the days. Did the first hip hop tour ever done before it was even called hip hop. Mm. Did movies like Flashdance, Beach Street, uh, a bunch of documentaries. Uh, I've been pretty fortunate to uh, have helped to bring the dance around the world. Uh, I represent Red Bull as an as a dancer. I've been I'm probably I think I'm the first person of color to be signed by Red Bull wow, as congrats. anyone of their athletes. Uh, Interesting. That's a huge accomplishment. Yeah, absolutely. So fascinating. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, you know I I mean you know a lot of I, I guess a lot of uh, What's on people's radar right now is a lot of the work that I've done in Puerto Rico. Which Absolutely. Is and I love it. I love, you know, that we have um, someone like you who can actually uh, be such a voice and advocate so much for, for our islands, you know, um, even after, you know, the whole chaotic thing, because a lot of people don't know just because you don't hear it or they don't show it as much as when it happened, impacted, you know, it's still an ongoing um, thing that, yeah. that, you know, yeah. people think, oh, everything's great now, you know, and it's no. really not. Yeah. I mean, so the, the festival, I started a festival here uh, seven years ago, this, uh, this June 21st through the 23rd will be our seventh year. And the festival was, was created so that I can, just as a Puerto Rican, be a responsible Puerto Rican when it comes to uh, my people. Uh, I wanted to do something that was about economic development. And uh, after the uh, hurricane happened, it, it, we expanded it into something that is also about uh, outreach, you know, something that's about sustain, you know, help, helping farmers with sustainable farming. Uh, we have a lot of programming that we do with the uh, Boys and Girls Club that leads up to uh, the festival. 
And uh, most importantly, we, we bring people in during a time when it's like down season for Puerto Rico. And these people are coming in, spending their money, and the local businesses have the opportunity to, to make money because of them. So the venues Absolutely. that we use, they're able to cover their bills for like a month or, or so uh, what, you know, by the time we leave. So that's, that's a, a, you know, when you have a dry month and it's really slow and you have one event that can cover all your bills for the rest of the month, yeah, you know, it's a great thing. So Chrissy, that's we're gonna some have of the to start stuff booking. that we do. We, gotta ha we have to go to this event. Um, I'm there. Although yeah. I might lose my job. People, well, people, vacation time people can look it up, PortoRockSteady.com. Uh, Fat Joe, Music Soul Child, Rafa Pabon, Grisel Del Valle, uh, a whole bunch of people, DJ Enough, Static Selector. Uh, a lot of people are coming through. I'm coming. Event. Linda Lynn is coming. So you said RockSteady.com. Yeah. Huh? You said rocksteady.com. No, uh, Puerto Rocksteady.com. Puerto Rocksteady. Puerto. I'm going to put it in the chat so yeah. everybody that's Ooh. watching can check it out. PuertoRockSteady.com. Let's see if I could spell yeah. it right. And, and, Puerto. And, yeah, and, and uh, on Instagram, it's the same thing Puerto Rock Study. Okay, I got you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> got you, Crazy Legs. All right, that's awesome. That's what, you know, and once again, I have to say, you know, thank you for joining at the last minute. It was, you know, uh, we've been oh, friends good. for a while, and, and we were just chatting, and we're just like, you know what? I would love, I've been trying to get him on the show, actually, for the longest time, and this just, you know, finally, finally. it just kind of just happened. See, finally. sometimes you can't force things in life. You just got to let them just <laughs> flow naturally. Hey, it works out. I wasn't doing anything anyway, but making a veggie burger, so it's all good. A veggie yeah, burger. Yeah, a veggie burger. Right I up would, my alley. You would think, you know, I mean, he's in Puerto Rico, make some, like, arroz con gandule, you know, something like that food, and he's eating a veggie burger. Come on. Yeah, Yo, you know what? I'm trying to eat to live. So, you know, I, and I'm going to say right now, you know what's crazy? Like, I know our people, we have delicious food and all that stuff. But the result of all of our delicious food, when you go on that plane and you see, like, and I, I travel a lot. So when I, see, when I go on a plane, I see, like, how many people who are handicapped coming through. I'll see on a regular flight, maybe two, three people on a wheelchair that had to be handled. Hmm. On a, on a flight to Aguadilla, easily nine to 12 people every time. I've counted even 16. So a lot of people are not taking care of themselves, themselves in Puerto Rico. Well, I mean, it's probably difficult too right now to find the kind of foods that you, you know, it isn't. Eat, no, it isn't. eat to stay healthy. I mean, like, well, think about it. It's convenience. You know what I mean? Like here, like people who are in a rush or don't really, you know, lazy. You want to say lazy. You know, they're no, going to go eat fast food I'm sorry. More. No, that's the easy way out, though, because it's not really like that. In Puerto Rico, right where I live, one of the businesses that we saved during our uh, recovery efforts was a hydroponic, organic, a clean, uh, organic, oh, God, hydroponic, clean, organic farm. And mm. it services 95% of the restaurants on the northwest side of Puerto Rico. Everyone has access to that. It's about education and raising children to eat healthy and raising them to live to live. And, and, and you should, could, we could enjoy all that other stuff too, but you know, it, it becomes about balance. Oh, uh, so you're gonna thanks. So you're gonna make me feel guilty about the chicharrones that I just had with the, uh, you know, for the platano maduros and the yuca that we just had. Like, you know, I had skirt steak. I, I'm gonna have me a whiskey in a little while. I'm not. I'm not here trying to be all, you know, I'm not the perfect dude. All right. It's okay. Listen, I may it's break okay out the to indulge. right now, but we're talking. Yeah, we and we all love to indulge in life. That's what life is about: enjoying things in moderation. You know, you yes. do too much, or you eat too much, or you whatever. Too much of anything is bad for you. So I had a flan. I had my flan today. Oh my God! Please flan. don't speak to me about flan. That's my weakness. Oh, oh man, I, I, put, I um, had the most amazing flan. It was fingers. made with pacha. <laughs> That's two different cultures right I there, I know okay? your weakness, because every time I'm on my way to see you, I got to go get the weakness for you. <laughs> we won't expose that right now. Um, but um, um, we're going to, um, just for a moment, we have to give, um, you know, uh, I guess, um, I hope there's no fatalities. Really with the, quick, um, really quick, what is this on your hand that you that uh, you got? Oh, uh, okay. well... Well, I was getting to that. Oh, were you? Well, okay. Well, because, I didn't know. I just was actually well, pointing out. You know... <laughs> We'll get to that in a second, but... Yeah, the Yankees beat the Red Sox. That's news. Holla! <laughs> That's always good news. 
Yeah. Um, so the, this fire in, um, in Paris, don't you have a friend who lives in Paris and yes. actually can see this, um, you, you saw know, the, the terrible... Yep, you saw the smoke from, I guess, where he lives. And um, I was really touched by the video I saw online, though, where people that were gathered in front of the church were singing Ave Maria. Um, I would have loved to get a, you know, clip of that for us on the show, but... We can't, you know, obviously rip it from YouTube, and that was the only place I was able to see it on. Um, but, I mean, if you check this out and you go to, you know, some of the stories of what right. happened in the, well, uh, the Notre what? Dame. It, it looks the Notre absolutely Dame. beautiful and so sad to see such a, a landmark and, you know, been there for so long. And, and you know, and so I'm glad there was no fatalities and, and it's unfortunate. Well, they're going to rebuild. You know, there's a lot of people that are willing to donate a really large amount of money to fix, um, you know, to rebuild. And a lot of the concrete structure was able to, you know, and they have this picture of the fire. Like, you could see the the lining of a cross. Right. And it was just crazy, like, how you could see the fire behind this cross. It was almost like, you know, if you believe in God and if you're spiritual, you believe, like, wow, like, you know, this fire is not ripping down this church. Like, you know, there's this too many people have put their, yeah, their it, it work was... and their hard their life into building this thing. I mean, this thing's been around since 1185, I think. I know. And 850 so, years. So that, you know, now that you brought up my tattoo, was so, what a coincidence. I know. Um, so do we, I, over the weekend, I don't know what happened, I had a little impulse, and I just felt, I always wanted to get a tattoo of the evil eye. You know, <laughs> it, it, it's like that, you know, it was just like, I felt this energy, you know, and it was just like, I need something. I wear the bracelet all the time. I, I wear the bracelet all the time, and I just wanted something a little bit more permanent. Um, so I got that, and alongside, do we have a picture to show of the, the my recent tattoo? No. Okay, so there goes my, my, my uh, evil eye. And then I had that writing. Is that writing? That writing, well, because it's in French. Je t'aime. Je t'aime, meaning I, uh, I love you in French. I want to see the evil eye, though. The it's on eye? the other side of the hand. You see the I evil eye? It's, the blue. it's just the eye. It's not like the eye itself. It's a symbol. See the blue? Okay. Can I just say, I like your set. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's, uh, isn't that Greek? I, I, I believe they use that a lot, yes. I didn't go too deep into... Yeah. It's more like that whole mythology and, and you know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think uh, I'm, that's definitely from Greece because, uh, yeah, it's all over the place in Greece. Yes, I actually absolutely. Bought, when I was in Greece, I bought one there from over there. Yeah, and I think, you know, in the Middle Eastern as well, they're, they're very, you know... So it's, yeah. you know, it's, it's like a protection symbol and I wanted something more permanent on me, small, you know, to go on with my other collection in there. But I just thought what a coincidence that I just wanted to have... Um, I wanted to, always wanted to say in the side, uh, French is like the language of love. And, um, <laughs> you know, and I just had that... And, yeah. So, um, just hey, but you know, you know how that evil eye is usually used. It's usually supposed to ward off people, uh, uh, bad vibes that are walking into your home. So it's supposed to be around your doorway. Yeah. Well, now it's it's on me because anybody that tries to even come with bad vibes around me is right. gonna get the knock the fuck out. You you can sleep by your door she every it. night. And she be was good. like, I'm gonna ward off this evil so much like that this. I'm gonna tattoo it on my body. I'm gonna go <laughs> <laughs> like Wonder Woman. <laughs> you know? I have one in my car. My friend got me one from Greece on her honeymoon, so I have it in my car. And um, you know how a lot of people have the ham? What is the hamas? Hamas? The hamsa. The hamsa hand. You know, they all do that with the hamsa hand. They have the evil eye on there. You know, um, I think that's nice and all, but I didn't want something that uh, big. I didn't feel like I needed that to, you know. Right, would you just, guys you know, but, um, my, my my boy has one on his wallet because he's scared of hood rats and gold diggers. <laughs> I don't blame him. <laughs> so, so on his walk, is the hood rats trying to stay, take his money or something? Yeah, yeah, he, he doesn't want no gold diggers. <laughs> well, that's um, they're they're, they're, they're very few and far they're, they're very do? few and far between. <laughs> but um, so uh, we're gonna be catching up, uh, taking a break soon. We're gonna go to a commercial, and when we come back, we're actually gonna catch up on last week uh, on my performance that we didn't get to um, showcase the whole video. We had technical difficulties, so we're gonna go into um, showcasing a little bit of my video clip from my show, and we're gonna come back with a did you know right after um, this commercial.
peach family. And did you know Venus is the only planet that rotates clockwise? And did you know if you didn't move for 15 minutes, you'll fall asleep? And did you know the state of Alaska is the only state whose letters can be typed in a straight row of keyboard letters? And did you have it? Did you know? Huh? Oh, hi, welcome back. How did everybody enjoy that? Did you know? Oh did my you God. know? I did not know that almonds were in the peach family. How the hell is that possible? I don't know, but there's a lot of things, interesting things that go out there. I know you didn't know, because I didn't know either. Well, that's why it's called, did you know? Well, I did not. Well, you, and know, I you have to pay attention. You know, it is free when you pay attention. Did you like that? Was that cool? Was that cool? No? Burr, burr. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> But anyway, um, so um, last week I brought some footage from my show, which was you were away because you didn't want to come to my show, so you decided to go away to Putacan on that precise Saturday that I had my amazing show, so you didn't get to I am always the number one front, well, maybe not, I always have to stand behind Lulu and Cindy, but I'm always <laughs> there. And I'm always supporting, and I just happen to. But you know, I love you. I, I I was there in spirit, and I did text you and say good luck, yes, and I love you. You did, you did, and thank you everybody who was there supporting, and all the text messages and everything. Um, so like I said, I have brought in some footage last week, but we had some technical difficulties, so we couldn't show everything. But um, but here I am, showing you the full show. The full. So for those that you that didn't see the show, my show that I had at the Westbury Theater, where I opened up for the freestyle concert um, for acts like um, legends, TKA, Judy Torres, Maria, Cynthia, George Lamont. The there you go. So um, do we have that video to roll? <laughs>
I love that song. I, I wish I could. Why didn't we cut it off, man? Why did it cut off like that? Why are we always having technical I difficulties? Why? Why? This is my show, I damn it! I to listen. Where's my boy A King? Anyway, shout out to everybody who was involved. My God, the dancers were amazing. Asme, uh, Morgan, um, a Frenchie. King. A King. Well, A King is my dude, you know. Uh, forget A King. He, you know, without A King, that's all that have been made, and you know, and it's not gonna, you know. We're going to be having a hit right now, so when we drop the record soon, in a couple of weeks, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to work anyway. on my posture here. I'm working on my posture. Why? What because I'm like, I saw myself sitting like this, and I'm like, my face is about to plant right into the table. But well, you always have to be sitting, trying to be, sitting proper. I'm trying to sit proper. Anyway, so yeah. That was an amazing performance. Um, I'm sad I missed it because I really like that song, and once it comes out, I'm definitely going to get it on repeat. Repeat. All right. Well, thank you so much. Like I said, thank you for your support. Um, so crazy legs. Um, yes. I, I want to know what is in in store for you next. What's uh, what's the next step? What what's your next venture? Your next event besides the Portal Rock that we know is gonna be super amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, I am. Well, I, I, part of my deal with Red Bull. Uh, I have a separate deal actually, which is to develop a a Broadway play. Ooh. A scripted feature film and a uh, a documentary about Rocksteady Crew from my perspective. Amazing! Wow! Yeah, so it's pretty big. It's pretty big, but you know, and, and there's something to be hyped about. But I'm that kind of person that's like, well, you know, I'm not gonna get that hyped until it's like about to come out or but you why know, because I mean, it's shown. exciting you never to know. know. But but I mean, we are having some serious high level talks you know the first part of the deal has already been signed and and uh meetings with some pretty big players and, and when i say big players i mean as big as it can possibly uh, possibly get globally to be able to uh partner up with so you know we'll see where it goes i don't want to mention any names yet okay um, yeah you don't want to do a fire but, festival <laughs> huh i said you don't want to be a fire festival <laughs> Nah, no, no, never that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's it's pretty interesting because it's the first time I got a hip hip hop a, a, a hip hop story from someone who would be considered a pioneer and Latino is going to be told from our perspective. So it, it's definitely going to be a groundbreaking uh, deal that's that's going to be happening. Oh my and, God, uh, I'm and, so and, you excited know. for you. Congratulations. You know, I, I really yeah. personally believe uh, um, that you really deserve that and then some because you've been uh, a part of so many things, um, you know, in the community. You would advocate for a lot of things. You've been around, you know, uh, I don't want to say you've been around a lot, you know, a long time. It's all right. I'm 53 <laughs> years old. Put it out there, girl. So You're good. how old? I'm 53. Damn, boy, you've got some good genes. No, nah, it's actually, I go to the gym and I have a, just enough denial. Oh, stop. It's that Latino those, blood. Those, you guys, I don't know the what they those feed the you. Burgers. I don't know what kind of the fruits and veggies you got in, in the Puerto Rican jungle, but you guys got that <laughs> blood. Puerto Rican jungle. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like, I'm sorry, but like J-Lo, Linda, like I'm. Oh, she put me next to J-Lo. That's so cool. Thank you, You're saying you guys, you guys got these, I mean, I'm Italian, German, and Irish, but I think I'm doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good, girl. <laughs> you're getting there. You're not even halfway up to our age, but you're doing good. But, you know, a lot of people my age aren't, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. I, listen, absolutely, you know, and, and I have to Don't say, do drugs, people. Don't do drugs. Listen, you, you can drink. It's unfortunate you didn't, you didn't bring your transformation um, picture. Yes, no, but I didn't. I have to say uh, yeah. that I'm very proud of you. Thank you. You have been doing amazing from where where you were at to where you are now. Um, yes. I know it takes a lot of um, dedication and sacrifice to, you know, because as a woman, it, it's a big struggle, you know, the, the whole weight thing to try. And, yeah. and hey, it's a struggle for anybody, man. It is. It's, <laughs> no, it's, it is, but, but you good. know, mostly it's, it's more for women, you know, because when you really think about it, it's easier for guys to, 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 to shed it than women. And a couple extra pounds yes. on a man is hot. Like, we don't mind that. We're like, ooh, a little meat. <laughs> I mean, it's not that it's not for women either, but no, it's No, but it's, it's harder for it's women. Different. It it's really different. is. I mean, it's, there's, there's it's so been an up and everyone. down. It's for me. It's been up and I mean, I've been. I was the smallest person in my grade in middle school. I was like the tiniest little thing, and then as soon as I hit puberty, it was like bam, curves. 
And I got made fun of for stuffing my bra and being fat. And, and it was like, you know, I didn't know my body that well. So like through the years, like I covered it up. I covered it up, covered it up. And then I finally got to a point where I was like, all right, well, I'm, I'm happy that I have curves because I see a lot of the people that, you know, say, oh, you know, I wish I had boobs or I wish I had a butt. And, you know, I might have a little too much in my eyes, but like, I mean, I felt like, okay, well. She got a nice big booty for a white I girl. Do, I do, I gotta thank Taco <laughs> Bell and Jesus, thank you. Um, but, you know, I mean, it, throughout the years, it's been up and down, up and down. And like, I was last, uh, about a year and a half ago, I was really at my highest and I was very, I was in a bad place, like emotionally and financially. And then I just, um, and over the last year and a half, I just, told myself, you know what, it's not for anybody else. It's not for, you know, a guy. It's not for, it's for me. I want to be comfortable. Yeah. I want to put clothes on that fit me that I, I feel good wearing. Like, I don't want to keep buying new clothes now, look, to fit my body. You, did you um, did you get to 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 being that heavy because of the thing? Like, did you find yourself, you were eating because of, of uh, I want to say, were you depressed? Well, that I think that a lot of it was because, like, when I get comfortable with somebody in a relationship, and they always say, like, when you're happy, you're fat, and when you're, when you're miserable, you're skinny. And, I, I mean, I'm not saying that's true, but I'm just saying, you know, when I get into relationships, I get a little more comfortable, and, like, a lot of me is, like, I want to see this person, so a lot of my time is you know, is spent trying to do for them and be there for them. And then, you know, whatever time I have to give them, I do that's it instead when, of but focusing that's when you have on eating and working up out. And both be like, hey, hey, we're going to like do this together. And when I'm slacking off, you got to push me and I'll push you when you're Absolutely. slacking off. So it's really about the person you're with. Exactly. And your agenda. Exactly. Your agenda which is why I was like, bad. Which is why I was bad there. for so long. Because those live, people were not pushing. Those people were not yeah. supportive. They were not pushing. And, you know, I would never... I'm not the kind of person that would badmouth anybody I've ever been with in the past because it's not me. It just didn't work out for me. But I wouldn't be where I am if it weren't for those people. I wouldn't be as strong as I am. I wouldn't be who I am. And now it's just kind of like I always like make a joke and like joke around and say like, oh, I'm one, I'm one heartbreak away from my goal weight. Because like when I'm like hurt, like I'm not a I'm not an emotional eater. So like I get like in that mindset, like, you know what? Payback. I'm going to make them effing wish that they didn't let this go. And, like, it's funny, but I don't really want that, but, like, I just use it as fuel. And I have so much time and I have so much love for myself that I need to, to take out. So. But now that you're, you're, you're getting to that, you know, you look amazing. Thank you. you know, and I you're feel getting, good. And you're getting even, you know, better. Are you going to, like, once you meet that guy with the relationship, are you going to, like, forget that again? Oh, oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, like... I've actually more so, this is the first time in the up and down weight um, struggle that I've really prepared, like I've really put myself in a state of mind to be like, you have to balance. Because like I love to eat things that I don't normally eat, but at the same time, I feel so good when I eat good, when I wake up and I go to the gym, it sets the mood for the whole day, like I feel good the rest of the day. Um, and it makes me more conscious of what I'm eating and drinking. So, yeah, you know, but listen, most of it is diet. Most of it's what you're eating. I mean, if you don't have time to work out, even a little bit here and there, jumping jacks is good. I mean, you can do sit-ups. Look sit -ups. at you. Like I, the, uh, and, and you know what? I'm you a guru remember, now. You have a mermaid in your logo, so you have a lot to live up to every time you come on here. Yeah, you know, we want to be sexy well, mermaids. We do, do, we do, um, <laughs> we do Zumba together. Oh, we, we Zumba. Also, we do Zumba. And we also do uh, yoga when we can catch up, you know. We do a lot. We, we try to stay active together. I mean, motivate. That's another thing, too. I always tell people, like, I have to thank Dorothy, this, you know, woman that I work with. She's awesome. She's a good friend now. And she motivated me to get in the gym every day because she was going in the gym every day. Now it's like a motivation. Like, we like to converse about what we eat and what we're doing and everything else. But, you know what I mean? Like, it's good to have somebody that motivates you. Even if you don't work out together, going there together is is really helpful and next week i'll bring you know i'll show a picture because yeah, we do tuesdays do and I, I just want to give a shout a uh, quick shout out also uh, i started my uh, first training session with my um fitness trainer yesterday i'm going to give a shout out to her uh, to jen um yeah i feel I'm so sore getting back into it you know like you got it girl you got show them the muscles <laughs> But, um, so yeah, so you know, everybody, this is the time now, because everybody wants to get in shape for the summer, and you know, Summer's and I know around it's the, it is around be, the corner. I know it's supposed to be a year-round thing, where you're not supposed to, like, all of a sudden start thinking about getting into fitness, and you know, I know, <laughs> but, you know, you do tend to slack during the winter, and, and you're like, ah, it's coming around, you know, you tend to get lazy, unless you're, unless you're that 
fitness guru mindset person that wakes up, thinks about gym, goes to sleep thinking about gym, like that's their love of life. You know, they're always you I mean, now, go but, you, but right. But that's I, it. You I'm can not, also, I'm sorry, you can also I set up your vacation at a certain time of the year that gets you right back into it. Well, that, that's that's it now. Yeah, the gent. <laughs> it's it's like the um, you know, the New Year's resolutions. And, like, that's one thing I always like to say, too. People would always make fun of people that do the New Year's resolution. Oh, why are these people in the gym? It's so annoying. And it's like, yo, give them a break. Like, they're just trying to better themselves. And if this is a motivational thing for them. I mean, I, I try not to hate on anybody for anything. Listen, I have my opinions about things. But you know what? Their life is their life. My life is my life. Like, if they're not bothering you, if they're not hurting you, then... No, but, you know, people make fun of it because it's, like, the... is that you expect it already. It's like, you know, we say, okay, hold on, brace yourself for the memes, you know. Yeah, the yeah, new, yeah. The new me memes. New, and, new year, you know, new me. So, you know, so it's like you expect it, so it's like you wait for that moment. Oh, I'm going to indulge in everything before the new year, and, you know, because... New year, new me. I'm going to get know. six Big Macs. Right. So five it's French like a cliche already where everybody's like, oh, okay, new year, new me when, you know. Yeah, I'm no, I, I 100% get it. I started. <laughs> yeah, I, well, you know, so, but um, but listen, as long as, you know, I know I, I, I got to get back into it. And, and now I'm doing more shows and I'm going to be out there more, you know, doing more shows this summer. I, I want to be really, I mean, I always felt like I, I was fit, you know, but I always, I always maintained. Right. Like, I never gained weight, but I never really lost weight or was defined, you know. So this this time around, I want to um, I wanna build a little bit more muscle and be cut up a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You well, you look good. I think you look good, man. I don't mean, listen. Yes, you look amazing. I think that as long as you're happy, as long as you feel good, I mean, you know, being that we do the radio and we do TV and we do all that and, you know, performances and stuff, um, I wanted to be more comfortable on stage and on TV, you know, on video because for a long time I just, you know, never not liked my curves, but I just felt like, you know, I wanted to feel better about myself. So, you know what? To each yeah. his own, you know, you look great. If you're happy with you, I mean, but we all have a little bit we want. We all have a little change. Listen, we, we all do our thing, but, um, so Crazy Legs, tell us one yes. thing. How's the weather out there right now? Uh, it's gorgeous degrees. Gorgeous. Uh, I like I that. I walk around like Nature Boy outside. <laughs> uh, I'm How's the water? Are the water's the rough right now? Uh, let me see. No one needs to wear underwear. Oh, well, we don't, kind of play. we don't got to well, do that here either. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. It's gorgeous What place do you go here, to that? I, I don't know. Just out on a hammock Without underwear? Ago, and the Wait, breeze is amazing right now. Right now. Um, it's right, it's at that point where it's oh. about to get like super hot uh -oh. and humid out here. So uh, I'm ready for that. I got my ACs on point. Everything is good. I'm just happy that I, I'm. I don't know. I'm just happy to be able to say that I, my job is in paradise. Like I can have a meeting and because of the nature of my business, I can set that meeting at the beach. Wow. So it's that is pretty amazing. cool. At the beach. That's where I would be. Yes. So, yes. <clears throat> so crazy legs. So we have a little segment um, that we have, which is basically, we know we have a topic. We want to talk about it. We want to share our feedback. So I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. What is like the weirdest thing that you've done in a car or while driving a car? Do you have anything that you could like pinpoint? Like, I mean, I was so I like to sit in my car a lot and like for some reason sit there for a while and listen to music and mm -hmm. look on my social media. And then I realize, wow, I've been sitting in the car now for like 15 minutes like an idiot. I think more like than 15 minutes inside. for you. I mean more than 15 minutes. You know what? It's just peaceful. I'm, I'm it's just peaceful I'm in the car. I'm in my car because I travel so much. How about if we just say a plane? <laughs> okay, what's the weirdest thing you've ever done on a plane? What's the most fun thing I ever did on a plane? Um, were um, you in the Mile High Club? I've, I've been a member since a long time ago. <laughs> well, I mean, it, on a listen, on a private jet, it's easy. But in a public airplane? But when you're a teenager, anywhere is game. Excuse me? What are we talking <laughs> about here? Am I here innocently again, not getting what's going on here? Well, uh, me and my gullible <laughs> self. She's such a liar. I'm just saying, you know, um, I, and the crazy thing is that I was actually on to it. This is a long time ago. This is like the 80s. And there was this girl that I met uh, uh, on my way to Australia. And then we actually hung out in Australia. 
and, and then on the way back, we actually bumped into her like a month later. And she comes up to me. She was a little bit older than me, too. And she goes, when the movie goes on and the lights are off in the plane, meet me by the bathroom. I'm going to introduce you to the Mile High Club. I did not know what she was talking about. Well, what is it? I don't even know what that is. Sex on a plane. In you see what I'm saying? I don't know about Are those things. Are you serious? Things. I'm serious. I You've never, never heard, heard of that? I've never heard of that. All right. We need to sit you down and go through the ABCs <laughs> oh, or, of or life. Book her a flight. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it can't be any worse than this experience I had once. You know, um, a, a good part of my life, I've always been in, in, in the club scene, you know, of a bottle waitressing and waitressing, bartending and all that. So I had a VIP. So wait, wait, wait. So you're like a sex behind a speaker kind of girl? Yeah, yeah. Behind the DJ booth? No, but seriously, so I was um, I was a VIP waitress, and I had this VIP client, and I'm going to be serving the drinks, blah, 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 and he says to me, hey, do you party? Do you like to party? <laughs> so what am I thinking? I'm like, yeah, I love party. I, I love, love to party. Love the party. So I went and I got some drinks, and when I came back, here he is ready with whatever, and I was like, Oh my God, like, I, I, that's not what I meant. They were laughing hysterical. I felt like I was a 12 year old. Like here I am, this adult in this business for so long. It didn't even know what the word- Cause you don't do it. I don't know what that I didn't know meant. what it was for a while either before. Party, I mean. like you like to party. Yeah, of course I like to, I love to go out. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I'm going out tonight. I want to shout out my girl, Cindy. Uh, I want to shout out your boy, uh, Tony Toca, that we're going to be um, catching up pretty soon out there for Toca yeah. Tuesdays. So it's pretty funny that, um, you bring that up because yeah, I guess and I have a lot of catching up to do. Did you know that Tony is all, Tony's also a member of Rock Study Crew? Did you yeah. know that? Uh, I did. You know, I did know that. And I don't know if I, I have mentioned yeah. this to you. I know Tony since I was like 14 years old. Oh yeah, yeah, you did mention that. Yeah, too. back back in Brooklyn. Yeah. Uh, we're we're from the same area. Actually, I was really close with his uh, with his cousin, and that's okay. how I met Tony. And uh, I've known Tony ever since. And 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 it's amazing. It's amazing to 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 know and to be surrounded with such people, you know, with the likes of, of, of them, especially Tony Toka is like an icon. You have uh, Crazy Legs over here as well and doing so many good things back then, but then not just continuing, not stopping to just, you know. Um, you didn't answer the, my question, by the way. Yes, you I did. You didn't answer my question, Crazy. Well, he said the plane, but I'm asking you, what what is the weirdest thing that you've done in the car while driving or in the car, period? And you're asking me that? Yeah. Oh. I, don't know, I, I sneeze and boogies went on my hand. Yes, all the time because I suffer from like, you ever, severe like, allergies. You ever like, I mean, it's different when you're stopped and you take a selfie in a car, but you ever like be driving and somebody next to you is like driving and taking a selfie well, at the same I time? You're like, say, you're dangerous. Stay away from me. I don't want to say it's weird, but I have applied makeup while I'm driving. Well, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, we're, listen, right. women, you know, women and I, and, can and, do that. And people, you know, I'm like literally driving, holding a mascara, just trying to put because I'm you know, like, You know what the most difficult thing to do is while you're driving? Eating a taco from Taco Bell. Because <laughs> think about it, you gotta hold when the- When it comes to food, I'll make it you happen. You gotta hold the wrapper, you're like, you're you're steering with your knee and you're holding the wrapper and you're trying to eat them without the cheese and everything I make it falling work. out. When it comes to food, I make it work. Yeah, we well, I mean, like that's the weirdest thing I've ever eaten while I was driving. You but. got me questioning myself. I don't I don't really know if I've I've done like weird things in the car. I've changed my clothes in the car, like you know, us women, like whenever we got to do a quick change, you know, it's yeah. really tough for us. We gotta like we gotta get low. We gotta like, take our pants <laughs> oh, off. Oh yeah, no, no, and, I, shit, I'm. It's, I've, I've had people, women in the back seat of my car while I'm driving, like, yo, I gotta change, I gotta go back there. And then next thing you know, it's just like a whole new person uh, comes out. A new person, right? But yeah, I'm usually watching people do weird things. I've definitely changed while I was driving, like with one hand and like you're trying to like get the shirt over your That's head and you're like, I weird. can't see. No, but listen, no, with all the stop. things now with, you know, with the whole texting and, and, and well, driving yeah, to be safe, and, you know, you know the, the whole precautions. I try to be very precautious, you know, cautious when, when I'm driving because I don't want to, honestly, I don't want to be a statistic, you know, like everybody thinks and everybody does it. Everybody's guilty of texting while they're driving yes. and you always feel like, oh, I'm in control. I'm in control. Like you think you always got it no. and then it just takes that one other person, not necessarily you, and you got distracted for that split second and I just don't want, so I'd rather n not, you know. But, um, yeah. so, you know, we're almost at the end of the show. We're all, always having so much fun and we yap so much because that's what we do. We like to talk a lot. 
Um, Crazy Legs, why don't you let everybody know where they can find you, uh, your page, um, any other pages that they should know about so that they can look up and, and also join in in any of the events? Yeah, they can uh, uh, just find me, uh, Crazy Legs BX on Instagram and BX Dance for Bronx, of course. And for the event, it's uh, PortoRockSteady.com and on Instagram, PortoRockSteady. That's it. Real simple. All right. Well, listen. Thank you once again, Crazy Life, from the Thank bottom you. of our hearts for joining in and keeping us company um, for tonight's show. And um, we're definitely going to come back bigger next week. And um, also, before we forget, we don't want her to think that we don't love her. Loretta, we do miss you. Loretta. And, uh, Loretta is our other co-host, our um, extravagant British lady. Um, we love her and we miss her and I can't wait till we see her next week. And everyone that tuned in tonight at Linda Lynn Presents Could Be You TV, thank you so much for joining in. Remember, go on Facebook, uh, Could Be You TV, uh, Strong Island TV, and share the video. The more you share, the more views, the more people see, and the more they care. Woo! I want one! I want one! All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a good night. Love you. Thank Mwah, you. Mwah, mwah. Besos. Bye. Peace.